Hey guys, how's everyone doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Today, we're going to do a video on all of the TV shows that I grew up with and that I hold near and dear to my heart. Uh, some of them were in my adulthood and most of them are in probably more of my uh, teens and childhood. So... Uh, nothing's going to be in any specific order, but once I read them and go through them, I may go back and kind of touch on uh, a couple of them. Just to give you a little bit more insight as to how I feel and what they might mean to me. So, let's go ahead and start off with Lost. The TV show Lost. The Walking Dead. The Dukes of Hazard. The Cosby Show, Roseanne, Friends, Hercules, The Legendary Journeys, Xena, The Warrior Princess, Knight Rider, He-Man and the Masters of the Universe, She-Ra, Night Court, Who's the Boss, Growing Pains, Home Improvement, Give Me a Break, Different Strokes, Family Ties, Cheers, Alf, Miami Vice, The Wonder Years, Married with Children, The Facts of Life, Perfect Strangers, A Different World, The Fall Guy, Full House, Andy Griffith Show, the Greatest American Hero, The Jeffersons, Chips, Fantasy Island, Happy Days, The Brady Bunch, Gilligan's Island, The Master, The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, and The Golden Girls. You're going to notice I didn't say Seinfeld. I'll never say Seinfeld, even though I just said Seinfeld. So, guys, those are shows, TV shows that are near and dear to my heart. Take me back to my childhood. Take me back to my 20s, 30s, 40s. And uh, I have a lot of nostalgia for and love for. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about the Dukes of Hazard real quick. Everybody out there in the world can throw the fit about the rebel flag and all that or the confederate flag I don't really care <coughs> uh, whatever you want to think I don't care the show had uh, positive messages it had positive uh, characters and it was amazing it was fun it was full of action it was good old boys doing good old boy stuff think of it what you will don't care now like I said I'm not gonna go over all these I'm just gonna pick a, a, a handful of them that I really, that I really want to talk about. Um, the Cosby Show. What what can be said about the Cosby Show that's never been said? Truly a groundbreaking show, really. Um, yeah, there were other black TV shows, uh, oriented uh, type shows uh, before the Cosby Show, but really, the Cosby Show gave you more of a family, I think, that the average American uh, could connect with. Uh, you know, they had their share of problems, they had uh, their share of good times, they had their share of uh, real life stuff and things that you would never see in real life. It was a good mixture of everything. It was wholesome, good, moral, whatever you want to think of Bill Cosby, don't care. The show is legendary. The character is legendary. Perfect, wonderful show. We're going to talk about He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. And I'm only, I only mentioned two animated shows because they were more prime timing. Not, they were more after school type cartoons instead of like your Saturday morning cartoons. And, and so I kind of just put them in this category. And they're uh, He-Man and She-Ra. Uh, wonderful, uh, great cartoons. Great imagination. Good characters. Good moral uh, stories at the end of each show. And uh, just uh, uh, my childhood was just 
blessed to to have that as a part of them as a part of my childhood <laughs> so uh, let's go on and talk about um, Fresh Prince of Bel Air. You know what? That's the beginning of an icon, Will Smith. Now I might not like him these days really all that much. He just don't. He, to me, he's kind of played out and lost it. Uh, but the Fresh Prince of Bel Air, great show. Uh, some great characters. Funny. It had good caring moments. It had parenting. It had uh, lessons to teach people. And uh, just a really good all-around uh, fun, entertaining, warm-hearted uh, type of show that you could get into. Um, and the same thing could be said with Full House. Let's face it, man, that's mush and and cheese all wrapped up into one, Full, uh, full House. And I do watch Fuller House, uh, but we won't get into that. <laughs> Full House, great series. I didn't watch all the episodes, and all these I didn't watch all the episodes. There's some of them I didn't watch them all. Some of them I have, many times. So, um, Married with Children, that's a groundbreaking TV show right there. Uh, it, uh, compared to what was out there at the time, and probably compared to what's out there now, it was ahead of its time, and... Uh, very blunt, didn't care what they said, and that's the kind of show that I liked. Uh, and that it had good characters, and they were all well acted and perfectly cast, and great show. Um, I'm going to talk about uh, Miami Vice. Miami Vice is one of the most groundbreaking TV shows that have ever been created and put on TV. Uh, from the fashion to the lights and the glitz and glamour. Uh, to the music, to, to just everything, uh, it it brought a whole new sense of what what can be done on TV, <clears throat> what can we bring? It was like the MTV pop uh, of a, a TV show. Sorry, I'm stuttering there. <laughs> I'm trying to think of what I'm saying, but uh, it was just amazing for the time and I didn't watch all that but I watched a lot of it even as a kid I mean who didn't love the beginning the opening of the show amazing and as an adult I've watched pretty much every single season um I've kind of skipped around once I got to season five uh, I kind of uh, slacked off and I still need to get uh, that all all the way watched but uh, Miami Vice love it you need to watch it good stuff need to watch it um, I want to talk about the Andy Griffith show. Yes, that's an old TV show of black and white for the most part. Man, that show is just really comedy gold. And, uh, of course, it has good morals and values and good characters. And it's just uh, ahead of its time, I guess. I don't know. It was just really brilliantly done. Great show and uh really you can enjoy that really no matter your age if you're open-minded another one's little house on the prairie that is one show that has some of the best acting and best stories i've ever seen in my life probably uh, it comes off as just realistic like you have a camera outside of someone out of this uh, you know outside of these people's lives and they don't know what's there and you're just filming their lives it's an amazing show, a TV show, uh, just uh, the acting, you know, you can't say enough. All the characters, uh, all the characters are just amazing and just so well done. The writing, the directing, the, the whole set, everything, man, that show is just crazy good. And it's, you know, these shows are, are kind of old, you know, these shows are old, but it shows you what can be done. Those shows were amazing. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and finish up by just talking about two more. Um, the Walking Dead. Um, it is a lot more than what you think it is. It is not a show about zombies. It's a show about surviving the world uh, in its zombie apocalypse state. So uh, if you've not given it a chance, you need to give it a shot. Because it is... Uh, 
really good. And uh, even though things have changed up greatly in the later seasons, um, it's still uh, doing really good with the writing and the stories and and keeping you wondering and, and uh, you know, kind of looking forward to the next episode. And we're on season 10 right now. And uh, it's still it's still good stuff. I had my doubts going in the last couple of seasons, but it's been perfectly fine and uh, highly recommended. If you like a show that has everything in it, go for it. That's what you need. And really, this is my top of the list. Um, I know it's more of a it's way more of a serious uh, show, uh, so it's hard to really clump it in with a lot of those uh, that I named but you know Walking Dead is as well but uh Lost uh, there's not uh, there's not enough that I can say about Lost uh, I started watching that uh, when it when it debuted uh, of course like I did with The Walking Dead but uh I started watching Lost from day one and from that point it was it, it, it captured it just captured my soul. Everything about me. Um, there's a list of characters a mile long in that show. And I knew all the characters. I know a lot of their real world names even. That's how much I've been into that show. Uh, I've watched it from start to finish uh, 11 times. And uh, now I don't watch it anymore. I feel like I've gotten my fill of it. I don't watch it anymore. But just know I have watched it 11 times, front to back, uh, and nearly, and pretty much back to back, every time. So, uh, every character on there you can connect with. There's something about them that, that reminds you of yourself or someone you know. Uh, the story, there's a lot of confusion in there, but if you pay attention to stuff, and you don't mind thinking a little bit, and you don't need to be spoon-fed everything, uh like a two-year-old, you can go in there and you can watch this and you can really enjoy it. And it's emotional. I mean, it's, it's, it will break you down. <laughs> I've cried like a baby nearly all 11 times I've watched that thing through. Um, it's just really emotional. And, and I think it hits people hard, uh, like myself, that deal, that, that are, have emotions and that, maybe deals with uh, depression like myself and, and different things um, because there, there's just a lot going on in there and it's really uh, it's really quite the experience um, and at the end of the day I'm not a religious guy I'm, I'm agnostic uh, if you want to call me atheist I don't care but I, I'm more agnostic um, and lost is more lost is kind of wrapped around religion to some degree but not just one religion uh, you notice uh, different uh, different religions are recognized in the film at certain parts and it's not dedicated to just like Christianity it's uh, uh, all of them get a shot you know, and are noticed and recognized in there. But, and even saying that, uh, it's still, you know, it still kind of confuses me and boggles my mind a little bit that I love it so much, even though I'm not religious. You know, I don't believe in all that stuff, but I have a heart and I have a conscience and a mind and a soul. And, uh, you know, there's just some really really good stuff in there, some heartbreaking stuff, and just really, you got to pay attention, there's a lot of time travel, back and, back and forth, I'm not really giving nothing away, it's been, it's been over for 10 years now, and it started back in 2004, so, if you haven't watched it by now, you need to, um, just a brilliant show, just all the way around, the acting, the characters, uh, the set designs, uh, the things that uh, uh, become iconic from the show, you know, from sounds to something that's visual that you might, that's in the show that, 
it's like, oh man, that's you know that's what that is. And, you know, if you see something that might remind you of that in the real world, or it's just iconic. People can gripe and complain all they want about it. Uh, well, you didn't answer this question. You didn't answer that question. This is this didn't get answered. And where's this person? And where's that person? And what was the ending? What the ending mean? Oh my God! A lot of the answers are in there. Pay attention, and some of the things you interpret yourself. That's what they wanted. They didn't want to spoon feed people everything. So Lost is the brilliant show. Brilliant. Well, guys, that is a huge list of my most memorable, uh, loved, um, heartfelt. Um, TV shows uh, throughout my entire life from my extreme childhood all the way up to now to my adulthood at 48 years old so uh, what are your shows what are your favorites in there I'm sure you guys have some favorites that I mentioned off in there uh, talk about them tell me about them what do you like what do you don't like go in and uh, discuss some things with them uh, let's make this a good conversation uh, there's a lot a lot that can be discussed about these shows because they span a good 50 years or so you know they spanned a lot of uh, time and uh, so anyways I hope you enjoyed the video it's something I've been wanting to do for a while uh, check out all my other videos I got something for everybody guys if you can't find something on my channel you just need to go back to watching TV that's the truth so guys get up Get out, get red, do it to it. Even when watching one of the 9,000 million shows that I have wrote down. Especially Lost. Especially Lost. Watch Lost. Get lost with Lost, guys. We'll see y'all later. You have a good night. Go watch something.